America. My name is Melissa Armo. Welcome to my home. Actually, this is my home, and this is where I work, and I trade. So I'm a day trader. So every day I get up in the morning, and I don't have to commute. I don't have to travel. I could trade in other genres if I want to, even though, to be honest with you, I don't. Uh, but I could. So theoretically, I could trade in my pajamas, and you could too if you want to. Or you could just trade in your bed with your laptop. I don't do that. I like to get up, have breakfast, do my thing. But I thought I would share with you the benefits of being a trader by just giving you a window into my life. So what do I do in a normal day? Well, I get up in the morning and I go to the gym early. I live in an eastern time zone. I live in Manhattan. This is Manhattan. I don't have professional lighting right here, so it's very challenging to see the lighting. But this is the city of Manhattan back here. I live on the 60th floor in a penthouse apartment in Midtown, and I absolutely love my apartment, and I absolutely love my life. It has taken me a long time to get to this point, and one of the benefits of trading is that you can set your own hours, work from home, and set your own income, meaning that the more money that you risk in the market, the more that you can make, and as time goes on, the benefit is you get better as a trader. I mean, I have never traded better in my life than I have this year in 2015, and of course it's seven years into it. So one of the things you have to look forward to is if you learn how to trade well, over time you will make more money with continued effort. One of the things that I find interesting is I talk to so many people and they're like, well, I, I want to wait to have this much money or this much money or this much money. In the meantime, 12, 6, 7, 9 months have gone by. So and so could have taken my class, learned how to trade, been risking $100 a day day or whatever they could have afforded at the time that I met them and they're waiting to save all this money which I still don't have to take my class and trade to try to make the same amount of money as me like right now this second. Like it's not about that. It, it's really about just getting into the flow and doing it. The longer that you wait to move forward to have the life you want, the longer it's going to take you to get there because you know what? This is what happens. You lose momentum. You lose motivation. Your dreams start to just go like this, and you have to do things to keep it up. You really have to do things to keep the momentum up. I do that for myself constantly. It's really about feeling good about yourself. It's very important to feel good about yourself. In fact, one of the things I do to feel good about myself is I love clothes. I love fashion. I love shoes. In fact, I'm going to try to show you these shoes here if I can get them on the camera. Can you see these shoes? There they are. They are gorgeous shoes. And some days, you know, you get up and you want to trade and some days it's just like not enough motivation to like trade to like pay like the cable bill. My cable here in the city is insanity. It's really, really high just for my television. I do have like a thousand channels, but the point is some days you're like, Ugh, you know, but the idea of being motivated to buy the shoes, okay, <laughs> that helps me get the conviction to take the trade knowing that if I have a fabulous trade, I could buy one pair of shoes or two pair of shoes or whatever. So some days it's like not enough motivation just to pay the rent. You know what I'm talking about. Like when you roll out of bed and you go to your job, but it's good to have dreams and other things we like to spend money on that are fun to keep us excited and going with life. Now, does it mean you can buy all the shoes that you could eat? No, but it's the idea that if you, do well and you save, you can buy the shoes. And it's the idea of just having dreams and things that you aspire to accomplish or, you know, want to achieve in your life. So what my schedule is as a day trader is I get up in the morning and I go to the gym and I come back and then I rate my gaps because I trade the strategy that I invented, which is called the golden gap system. So I rate my gaps. So when I come back from the gym and I have my breakfast, and then I sit down and I run a live trading room and I take my trades live and I work from home. Then when I'm done, it's like around 11 o'clock, I'm done trading about 11-ish, 11 a.m. Sometimes I close out the room early because we're done sometimes by like 10, 15, 10, 30-ish. And I'm just like, well, I have things to do. Every once in a while, like twice a month or something, I have a webinar like around 4.30. So then usually those days between 11 and 4, 4.30ish, I will do paperwork or pay bills or clean the apartment or do a laundry in those days. But really, when I'm done trading most of the days of the month, the 20 days of the month, from 11 o'clock till the rest of the day, 
I can do whatever I want in this fabulous city in New York. And so, you know, the thing is that if you get to the point which it did take me time to get here. I'm saying is you have to have a goal and a dream to get to this point. And if you do, you can achieve it because I've achieved it. Now, when I started out trading, I did not realize that it was going to be as challenging as it turned out to be because I thought, oh, I'm really, really smart. I'll figure this out like in a millisecond. Well, it didn't turn out to be that way. And I had to make a lot of sacrifices. I really made a lot of sacrifices to get to this point. But I will tell you that it's 100% worth it. And sometimes you have to make sacrifices. And this is the point that I'm trying to make. Right now, I have a great life. I live in a penthouse apartment on the 60th floor, and I am done working every day by 11 o'clock. Your path does not have to be as challenging as mine once you meet me, because I will help you teach you my system in my Golden Gap class. And then on top of that, motivate you to keep going as you have internal struggles or whatever happens to you to keep pressing forward and persevering like I did. At the time that I was going through my own process, number one, I didn't have anyone to teach me what I know right now, except for the market. And the market just kept taking, 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 taking my money until it took almost it all, okay? And I kept persevering. And then, as far as the motivation, I really just basically had myself. Because, I mean, I had friends. I had friends and loving family that helped me, but I will tell you that you know, they were really pushed to the limits. <laughs> I mean, I will tell you that God loved my parents because, at, you know, at one point, it was just like all my friends had almost just had enough of me. And, you know, because life was so hard for me. And I would call them upset or crying about a trade or anything I did all the time. You know, and my friends were just like, ah, you know, friends can only be friends so long where they're like, please, you know, and you know what I'm talking about. But I will tell you that the friends that I kept through that process are my friends like still now for life and they're so, so happy for me, which is amazing. And I, you know, it's just incredible. Anyways, getting back to the fact that my parents helped me, supported me and loved me through this process, even them, even my mom and dad, who were my number one fans and still are today, because uh, I have great, great parents who made me the person that I am that I'm now helping other people because I wouldn't be the person I am today really without my mom and dad. So I care about people. I care about my traders. I, I empathize with them for their process. And it's because I had great parents that taught me how to be like that with people, to care. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, my, even my mom and dad were like almost at their limit. Like my dad's like, okay, you know, Melissa, when are you going to just decide to stop? Quit this thing and find a real job again, you know. I mean, really, my parents were pushed to the limit. And I have this thing where I can sometimes do that to people. Like, sometimes <laughs> I have this thing where I really push people to the limit. But you know what? I did it with myself. I made myself better for it. If you come and you learn from me, my class pushes you to the limit to expand your horizons, learn what you need to do to make a lot of money in the market, and know that you can. In fact, one of the gentlemen that just did my class uh, this past month, he emailed me after the class. It was so hilarious. And he said, Melissa, taking your class is like downing a fire hose because it's so much information. Not just the knowledge of the trading system, but obviously me, the way I motivate people, everything I do. And it was, it was a very high compliment, actually. It was a wonderful compliment. And uh, it was amazing. And obviously, you're paying me. So, you know, good money for the class information. And I want you to get the most out of it. I want you to get the most out of the experience with me. So, yeah, it is like full on. But that is me. And that's what you get. And if you are willing to push forward and persevere through the things that happen in your life, you can have an amazing life where you work from home, have unlimited potential income, can buy all the shoes that you can eat, and also live in a penthouse apartment with an amazing view. I'll have to get better lighting for the next time. But whatever your dreams happen to be, wherever you are, whatever you want to do, I'm telling you, the market is the vehicle that can get you there. And it's not just about the money. The money gives you choices, okay? Then you don't have someone else controlling you. Because when you work for someone else, 
when you're not supposed to, they control you because you're at the mercy sometimes of situations. And you know, when I, I'll say this one last thing. What I don't remember what year it was when I started to realize this. It was either 2007 or 2008. And again, I was a broker doing mortgages and I really was 100% commission sale. I worked for someone, but I was kind of working for myself in the sense that I could work really hard, find more clients, find more realtors, find more people to buy houses, do refinances, all of that I was doing. But it was got to the point then when the whole mortgage industry like collapsed, it was like it didn't matter how hard I worked, the banking system was in control, okay? The banking system was in control, and it didn't matter what I did or how hard I worked or how great these bars were. I mean, I had people that had amazing credit, and they didn't want to lend them money. It's like they, every time I thought the deal was done, they come back, they want to, they want blood from the people to give them the house. And it was ridiculousness. And at, at, and I just said, you know what? This, I have to be in control of my own destiny and find a career where that exists. And I found the market. And so what I'm saying to you is if you want to take back the power in your own life and empower yourself to make the money you deserve and also have a good quality of life, whether it's wonderful, beautiful things or just more time because I'm done trading every day in the morning, it is possible. you got to expand your horizons. Think about what you're going to do, how you're going to make it happen. You can make it happen. And that's really me and part of my story. So have a good evening, everyone. Have a wonderful night. If you're interested in more information, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Thanks, everyone.